Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna have a little haul here. Like, I've collected some of this stuff for about a few months. I didn't get it all at once because that would be expensive. But I'm gonna show you what I got. Mostly canvases and brushes, but you'll take a look. So to start off, I'm gonna open this package that it's already open of canvases that I got. These are from Michaels from Artist Loft. These are pretty economic. I use the 40% off coupon to buy these. And I like them. They're really small, really portable. I've been going on a few road trips lately and I've wanted to be painting because I live in an area like Arizona that has a lot of beautiful skies and mountains. And these are a couple of the canvases I got. I already painted one. Here it is. I might paint over it, I don't really like it, but these are canvases I got. The first set of canvases that I got came in a set of um, 12, and these are my little canvases. They're canvas boards packaged like as so, and you can take them out, paint them, obviously. The next thing I got are these easels. Which is perfect because I just bought a package of a bunch of canvases. I can put little ones or I can put these little big ones. Either way, I like them. I'm happy. This cost, um, this pack cost $2.99 because I got it at Ross. And the next thing I got was little craft wood pieces. I'm going to paint on them because I watched different people do that on Instagram and I thought that would be a cool idea. And so this is how they look. There's a lot of them and I, I really like that because I can screw up on one and I can use it back too. So those are the ones I got. The next little wood pieces I got was a wood plague. Not plague, like, uh, um, no, like, like an oval plague plaque. Excuse me, sorry. And this was... 97 cents, I believe. I got it at Walmart. I also got these at Walmart, so yeah. Moving on to the bigger canvases, I got this whole set of canvases. These were $14. Usually they're $20 for a pack of eight. And of course, I got these at Michael's at Artist Loft. And they had a sale that day where if you buy a package of canvases, you get a free package of brushes, which leads me to smoothly move on to all these brushes. Oh man, isn't that a beautiful mess? I'm going to organize these for you so you can look at them, and I'll explain with the voice. Smoothly moving on, like I said. I got these nice cool pack of brushes. I thought they were crappy at first until I actually used them. They're pretty great. I like how they have tough, strong bristles. That's pretty good for landscape painting. Uh, you can use this to create trees. You can use them to uh, create bushes and all sorts of cool things. This one, most importantly, is called a fan brush, and these are pretty important for, um, you know, pine trees. This little bristle is annoying me. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, sorry, it's not focusing, but you get the point. These are pretty cool. Try them out. They're good for landscapes. Up next are these brushes. These, I don't know what they're called, but they're very, very soft. Probably pretty good if you're oil painting and you want to blend something. It would be so perfect for that. But I personally don't like these because they shed like cat's hair and if you have a cat you understand that cat's hair sheds a lot. So yeah I I don't know what to do with these. Maybe if I go into oil painting I might use them for blending and stuff but other than that mm, they leave lots of hairs and I don't like that personally. And then next of course we got these little soft beautiful brushes. I really like them honestly. They feel so gentle and soft. You can do watercolor with these. Probably the same with the other brushes. But I haven't tried these out. I do know that they're just very soft and... Oh yeah, they're very soft. Pretty good. 
Haven't tried them, but I think they're going to be pretty cool. Last but not least, the most dramatic thing I'm probably going to do in this video. The beautiful, beautiful palette knife. I've been thinking, hey, I should probably buy a palette knife for the past six months. And I finally bought one. I know it doesn't look beautifully new, but I've been using it. And in my last video, you probably saw that I used it in there. These are pretty useful for making mountains, making textures, and all sorts of cool stuff. So I highly recommend you get a palette knife if you're going to go into um, landscape painting. Another thing is, is you can use a palette knife for different paintings, like if you want to create a texture, a texture to face, that would be pretty useful. But when you're using a palette knife, don't go like, whoa, no, don't do that. Have like a light, gentle sweep and you'll get nice textures and all sorts of cool stuff, so try it out. I highly recommend it. And there you have it folks, that includes my video for my art haul. Make sure you subscribe and like and all that junk. Um, I don't know when I'll have a new video, but until then, thanks for watching, have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, God bless.